Ladies and gentlemen, I am your Planetary Defense Commander, Star-Lord New Thor 7, and I'm bringing you your updates in crunch time when you need them most. So you can make the proper choices if you are in the danger zones on whether or not you should evacuate. Now we are looking at the later models. I mean, this is from the Windy. So these are just wind gusts. But earlier it showed us from the NAM 138 and landfall around Panama City. Uh, the Euro is about 133. It would make landfall closer to the tip there. And then the GFS has 82 mile per hour wind gusts, but it goes the furthest to the west. Now the NAVGEM, the models are backing off a bit, but they've just started this, so we're going to have to watch the trend. We've still got about two and a half more days to go before it gets there. This would be a category one in 982. This would be a category one in 990. This would be a category two. Yeah, so category one. And that would put it right up on Panama City. And then category one, that would put it even wester into Alabama. Um, this would be a category two which would fill right there in that hole, like Mother Nature's done this a hundred times. Well, that would bring the westest into Florida. This, the worst storm surge is going to be to the right, the counter, because hurricanes are counterclockwise. They push the water in. And then this has the Category 3 hurricane from the last run. So now the models are ranging anywhere from Category 1 to Category 3. So the guesstimate at the moment is about 120 mile per hour winds that we're looking at. Possible. Now, Cranky Weather Guy, King Weather Twitter. I recommend his blog highly. I will leave a link to it in my information box. It breaks the storm down. Continues to be a mix of ominous, yet also ragged. Through the day, my feeling is it's generally been a plateaued event as supportive and inhibitive features balance for now because you know he's saying it can go either way it can either I think I'm paraphrasing it can either rapidly intense or if some of the inhibitive features take hold then we could only end up with a cat one or even you know I would love to get a tropical storm and then everybody say oh you put 150 mile per hour wind gusts in its idle and it's, you got to be prepared for the worst and then if the best comes, just say, yay, thank you. All right, cranky weather guy again. Earlier on the left and later on the right, collapsed convection from the left lost its cirrus cover. And we can now see more of the internal structure pulsing around the stronger core, fighting the intruding dry air and shear. It is a continued balancing act for now. So we are watching it develop. But... There's rain all under this whole system. So there's a bunch of rain ahead of it. And it's bringing, that whole field is bringing some 40 mile per hour winds. So the waters are going to be choppy. But this definitely has the look of something that can be a very damaging, destructive hurricane if, because the Gulf water are hot, they're like 86 degrees, and you only need 80 degrees to form a hurricane. So dry air and wind shear are the only things that will hold it back and I'll remind people that it goes after it hits it will maintain hurricane it's predicted to maintain hurricane strength up the entire coast it will meet a front and they will combine like a Voltron megastorm and then they will head out like that and then Sergio hits Mexico bringing a lot more moisture in the, in the west but this will bring hurricane winds all the way through the Carolinas, Georgia if these models are correct. Now I'm going to do a run through real quick of each of them. See, there you go. Wait. See? You see that? These have been taking it like straight up and out. Um, but the earlier ones were taking it as high as New York and New England. See, like this one. That one would take it and have either tropical storm force winds 
possibly hurricane force winds low grade up into the new england area but like it's still going to create a massive giant megastorm when the two combine like that over areas that have had far too much rain so that is something that we will be watching and i don't know if people are aware of that this storm is going to be you know doing some major damage to a lot of places i mean that's a giant area that is covered in rain and so michael lowry the potential for severe devastating storm surge for the emerald coast and florida big bend for hurricane michael cannot be overstated location of the worst strong surge strongly dependent on track and timing uncertainties baked into official forecasts for nhc surge and i recommend if you're on twitter it's great for up to the minute updates weather twitter is fantastic um so uh, yeah we're watching but we're gonna have to watch position because storm surge is the most damaging like i said there you know it's like a three card monty game and we are watching but if you are in this cone pretty much right here i would like you to be playing close attention because if this comes in and it's cat two or cat three i don't think you're going to want to be in the evacu evacuation zones if they ask you to evacuate please evacuate you your family your pets and your poor friends who couldn't afford to leave without your help if you can levi cowan and his site tropical tidbits is where i do all these cool models so thank you levi and thank you mike's weather page um i'll leave a link in the information box also michael has become a hurricane expected to strengthen into a major hurricane max winds around 120 miles per hour before landfall in florida panhandle on wednesday life-threatening storm surge wind and inland flooding expected get prepared and heed evacuation warnings cranky weather guy here's his blog stormhamster.com a decent system with good storm relative supporting factors a poor environment with balancing storm inhibitive factors the question is how that plays out today good clues it looks both good and ragged simultaneously with good reason yeah because the wind shear has been trying to tear it apart but it has put up one hell of a fight and did you know it's as big as four ohio's hurricane tracker app the most recent suite of the spaghetti models takes the center of michael into the western florida panhandle on wednesday there's still time for this track to slightly shift however oh yeah be prepared for variables i just want to say you ever notice how much galaxies look like hurricanes it's brought to us by antonio Barris. oh that was fascinating again the hubble broke and the telescope they were going to use to replace it has been like delayed 18 years so it's not ready and so yeah this is i mean this is what we're talking about like this is that thing looks like a beast so you know if we'll have a better idea by tomorrow morning and we'll keep updating till then but i mean if this thing goes into a full rapid intensification development mode i would like everyone in the area of danger to be ready to get the hell out of there I don't want to lose any more people on my watch, and we've lost far too many this year. And I don't even want to talk about last year with Hurricane Maria. Ryan Haran, sorry, Ryan Han Rahan. Yay. Still a lot of spread with Michael's track once off the East Coast. Of the U.S. pictured here are the GFS Canadian and European ensembles. A track on the southern side of the envelope means some rain here. A track to the north means heavy rain. So like I said, that's it's going to continue to be a bitch of a storm as it moves up and out. Carl Parker at the Weather Channel. Favorable environment seen in expansive cloud shield will likely allow Michael to become a major hurricane before moving in Wednesday. Tropical storm force winds may arrive as soon as late Tuesday and preps should be completed by morning. And just look, it's, I mean, it's a giant monster, dude. That's why people got upset. I put monster in the title. I'm like, look at that thing. And it's Halloween or October. I guess they already forgot to have a sense of humor. Second, 
Oh, yeah, but I'm saying before, like 10 months ago, I said the United States of America will get hit by two hurricanes or more this year, just like I did the year before. And I was right again. I predicted Florida would get hit, the East Coast would get hit, and then possibly Texas. But hopefully that won't come true. See, I've done a good job. Anyway, if we don't work together soon to adapt to these earth weather and volcano changes and solar changes, it's not just carbon, we'll be a car underwater, a city underwater, a town underwater. And we don't want that, do we? No, no, we don't. Weather Underground. Tonight on Weather Underground, we're tracking Hurricane Michael and the dangers ahead for portions of the southeast. Strong winds, heavy rain, life-threatening storm surge. Yep, I'm repeating those on purpose because we've lost far too many people and every single storm can be avoidable. It's already got 75 mile per hour winds, so, you know, it, it definitely has room and hot water to strengthen if the shear dies down and everybody keeps talking about there's an area like right here is when it could really rapidly intensify. So, I know it's always in this situation, if I could afford it, which I can't, I would get out, you know, you get out of town if you're in a danger zone, even if you don't want to be without power. Now, you see, this is the storm surge forecast, but I'm not sure how accurate this is yet, while the models are still trying to get a hang on it. And don't even believe these totals, these totals can be blown out of the water, like always. They haven't nailed rain prediction well yet. Hannah Strong, it is fascinating. It very clearly shows dense tree cover in the areas we are expecting. Hurricane Michael to make landfall. That could lead to more damages. Power outages since there are more trees to knock over or damage. Pretty dense tree cover in Florida, Panhandle. Yeah, one thing, and this is why Hermione caused extended power outages. And that's another thing, like, do you want to be without power? If you can afford it, do you want to be without power for a week or two? Um, and one thing that's noted, a lot of areas have mountainous or hilly terrain, which Florida does not, so... But I guess it's not going over the shaft, so I shouldn't worry about it. Michael Palmer. The Euro RPM IBM Deep Thunder models in solid agreement that Michael lands as a major hurricane near Panama City Wednesday morning. Life-threatening 8 to 12 foot storm surge with significant structural damage likely. So that is why we are monitoring obsessively. And technically I started declaring this would be a hurricane that hit coast eight days ago so i'm gonna follow her up until landfall does that say 939 whoa dude that's that would be the ibm deep thunder with some meteorologists would probably make fun of it yeah so but everybody needs to be ready for the worst case scenario we've seen a tsunami come from a earthquake in indonesia and the government told them there was no tsunami coming and then it hit, the tsunami came and hit and killed people, a bunch of people. And the government found out that six of their buoys didn't work. So, you know, everybody needs to be prepared for like a worst case scenario. That would be in the one, that would definitely be a category four. But yeah, so sometimes I, I get the feeling professional meteorologists are scared. They don't want to scare people. Um, And so they err on the Less than the lesser side, but me being a YouTuber, I can err on the bigger side saying, yeah, you need to be prepared for 150 mile per hour winds. That's why I put in the other video, like, yeah, top end, there's definitely a chance you can get 150 mile per hour winds in with this thing if all the factors come together. If all the factors good come together, then, you know, maybe only 80, but seeing as it's 75 right now, I would not bet my life, my family, my pets, and my friends on it, okay? And, um, So there you go. Oh, and then here's the updated look at the hurricane watches now extending in inland portions of Georgia. So like I said, it's going to maintain hurricane strength with the winds. So and the rain is going to be a major factor. So basically, this is hurricane watch and then yellow is tropical storm watch. So everybody needs to be ready and be prepared for major changes. All right. Like I said, put up my last one 40 minutes ago. But like I said, today's the big day for people to decide 
what they're going to do and you know if tomorrow morning comes and they're in the major pathway and it turns out to be category three category four hurricane they don't end up like this do they no so i'm cool you're cool please use multiple sources to figure out your overall plan and um have a great day and if you get a chance try and work together with your fellow americans to build cool shit and repair all the stuff and solve all of our problems and challenges together as one American family. I love you, and I will talk to you soon. God bless everyone.